Edward and Gordon. One of the engines in Edward's shed was called Gordon. He was very big and very proud. Sing a song for Gordon. He's big, he's fast, he's proud. His paint is blue, so strong and true. And his whistle is singing out. The fastest train on so dull. You can't forget his name. So when we sing for Gordon, when the thing is once again. You watch me this afternoon, little Edward. When I rush through with the express, that'll be a splendid sight for you. Just then, his driver pulled the lever. Goodbye, little Edward. Look out for me this afternoon. Goodbye, little Edward. Edward went off too to do some shunting. Edward liked shunting. It was fun playing with trucks. He would come up quietly and give them a quick pull, and the trucks would scream out, "Oh, oh, 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 oh!" Whatever's happening. Then Edward would stop quickly, and the silly trucks would bump into each other. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Edward pushed them until they were running nicely, and when they weren't expecting it, he would stop. One of them would be sure to run onto the other line. Edward played till there were no more trucks. Then he stopped to rest. Presently, he heard a whistle, and Gordon came puffing along, very slowly. And very crossly, instead of nice shining coaches, he was pulling a lot of very dirty coal trucks. A good train, a good train. The shame of it, the shame of it, the shame of it. He went slowly through with the trucks clattering and banging behind him. Edward laughed, and went to find some more trucks. Soon afterwards, a porter came and spoke to Edward's driver. Yeah, Gordon can't get up the hill. Will you take Edward and push him, please? They found Gordon halfway up the hill, and he was very cross. His driver and fireman were talking to him severely. You're not trying, Gordon. You're not trying at all. And Gordon said. I can't do it. I can't do it. The noisy trucks hold an engine back so. If there were coaches now, clean, sensible things that come quietly, that would be different. Edward's driver came up. Yer,、yeah. we've come to push you. Oh, it's no use at all. Well, you wait and see. They brought the train back to the bottom of the hill. Edward came up behind the brake van. <whistles> I'm ready. <whistles> It's no good. The guard blew his whistle, and they pulled and pushed as hard as they could.
Gordon pulled. I can't do it. I can't do it. Edward pushed. I will do it. I will do it. Don't give up. Show determination. Don't give up. You'll be a big sensation. Keep your wheels turning. Your pistons pumping hard. Keep your voice burning. Don't hide your ground the arts. Right on time. You'll reach your destination. Now's the time to show determination. I do it. I will do it. Edward pushed and puffed and puffed and pushed as hard as ever he could. And almost before he realized it, Gordon found himself at the top of the hill. Done it. And he forgot all about Edward pushing behind. He didn't wait to say thank you, but ran on so fast that he passed two stations before his driver could make him stop. Edward had pushed so hard that when he got to the top, he was out of breath. Gordon ran on so fast that Edward was left behind. The guard waved and waved, but Edward couldn't catch up. He ran on to the next station, and there the driver and fireman said they were very pleased with him. The fireman gave him a nice long drink, and the driver said, I'll get my paint out tomorrow and give you a beautiful new coat of blue with red stripes. Then you'll be the smartest engine in the shed. <laughs>